Hello and welcome back to um, Kingdom Hearts with me, my few caddies, Iggy and Puggy. So the next world we will go to is Halloween Town. Yes, because um, it's nearly Halloween. Uh, but seriously, my timing could not be any better with this world. Um, so with that said, we are going to go straight there. Well, almost. Apparently I decided to go to um, thing. Um, don't know why I went to the gummy garage, to be honest, unless I want to build a new gummy ship with, um, some of the, um, things that I have. Uh, seriously. I don't think there's enough room for any more cannons. Let's just put it that way. Um, no, I don't think so. So I'm just gonna stick with the high wind and maybe get some new, um, um stuff, but um, I'm not gonna, um... See anything more than that? So we've added the thing. So we've added the what's that? Another common cannon there. So yeah. If you dare say it's unable to fly, then fine. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Anyway, that being said, um, what am I doing? Yeah, seriously. Move all together. That. <laughs> yeah. And now apparently I've got it stuck. Yeah, getting it stuck is a no-no, seriously. And, um, that is not something I wanted to do with my gummy ship. Anyway, I'll see you there. Or maybe not, we'll actually have a look at the, um, actual thing, and... What can I say, there's a few, there's a few more, um, things in the way along this, uh, gummy ship map. Seriously, there's a Dispel gummy, there are a few... Um, heartless ships that will actually come for us um, quite readily through this area. Seriously. We're in over all these uh, things. I don't know what to call them, really. Blocks? Yeah, you could call them blocks. I'm going to call them blocks because, yeah. I know I'm not going through that warp. You know why. I've done enough of that in my uh, um, uh, many let's plays of the. Uh, well, certainly not in the thing. Anyway, with the cannon, it will fire quite rapidly. Unfortunately, I do lose the scatter shot for that, but I don't really mind, really. Seriously, I don't mind, but, uh, yeah. The cannon is good for long-range fire, most definitely. Which is especially good in areas like this, with all these, uh, obstacles in the way. I don't really know what to call them, really. Um, it's like a kiddie, as I said before, a kiddie version of Star Fox without any of the extra missions. Seriously. But, uh, there you go. Hell, oh, the only thing weirder is that if I started playing the Corneria music from this, the original SNES Star Fox or something like that. But, um, I can't. Because I don't have the soundtrack and I am not going to download it from YouTube either. Anyway, that being said, um, yeah. Now the uh, Heartless ships will come quite uh, fast. Hard and fast? I don't know. Uh, but quite quickly at us. And yeah, I think um, Square Enix is um, getting a bit sloppy with their designs here, seriously. Although those ships do look like puffer fish. Seriously, freaking puffer fish. And, well, we're getting multiple of these whole things. Yeah, I think two of them are just for design. We can only go through one of them. Seriously. Um, but, yeah. And, oh boy. Um, that is something new. These ships will actually fire at us. And then, once they run out of lasers, they will... Dive bomber, seriously. Okay, that is new. Hey, and we go straight through a meteor bird, I guess. Uh, don't let it hit you. Move, move. Don't let it hit you. Move. Uh, but seriously, um, how far till um, Halloween Town? Because I'm not looking so good here, seriously. Although that special healed me up. And there is uh, Halloween Town. Yes. Um, of course, the home of, of course, the classic um, stop-motion animated movie, The Nightmare Before Christmas. And, looks like Halloween is about to start here. 
in Halloween Town. Indeed, he even plays This Is Halloween from, um, um, from the film, seriously. But yeah. This is easily one of my favorite uh, areas in the game. And strangely, we don't get a cutscene here yet. Nope, we just get Sora, Donald, and Goofy speaking to one another. With then rather scary getup. I think the scariest looking one is actually Donald, seriously. He's dressed up as a freaking mummy. Seriously, Donald as a mummy. And now, allow me to introduce the master of terror, the king of nightmares, Jack Skellington! Bravo, Jack! Bravo! Those ghosts will be a big hit at this year's Halloween! Thank you, thank you. But their movement still needs work. It's not scary enough. I want to strike bone-chilling terror. I'm going to consult the doctor. Then I'll go attend to the decorations. I don't understand. Maybe the guidance system was damaged in the explosion. Nonsense. My devices are always perfect. Oh, I've got it. Why, of course. The heartless need a heart. Doctor, do you think we can add a heart to that device? Certainly. A heart's not all that complicated. Ah, let's get to work. To make a heart, first take a container with a lock. We need the key to this thing first! My, that was amazing! Uh, and you are... Sora! Well done, Sora! I'd like you to be a part of this year's Halloween! What's this Heartless? Oh, the Heartless came to town just recently. What's frustrating is I can't get them to dance with me. So, the Doctor and I are trying to improve the guidance system. He's quite a genius! Okay, Doctor, let's continue. The ingredients for a heart. Pulse. Emotion. Terror. Fear. Hope and despair. Mix them all together, and we have a heart. Maybe we're missing some ingredients. Let's try adding memory. Sally? Sally! Good for nothing girl. Don't know why I bothered creating her. Sally's got the memory we need. See if you can track her down. No problem. Sora, would you like to come along? Sure. So, uh, we can actually put Jack Skellington in our party. 
much like many of the other characters. And I do want to do that because he's actually a solid member of the team. He can jump very, very high, which will be very useful, um, and, uh, I say, when we get to Sir... Jack! Jack! We have a major crisis! The Heartless are completely out of control! We can't stop them! Hmm, maybe our experiment triggered something. Everything will be fine, Mayor. You have nothing to worry about. Well, we still have to deal with the search ghost here, so I'm not sure if I have uh, Jack's optimism here. Um, so yeah, and not only do we have the search ghost, but also uh, two new types of heartless that I will probably cover um, a bit later. Indeed, we did see them um, milling about the area, uh, so yeah. Um, also, the shadows have a nice sort of hue to them, seriously. Uh, seriously, they have a sort of darkish hue, which honestly does not happen in any other area in Kingdom Hearts 1. But I do like that, actually. Um, uh, there I see it. Um, Square Enix were actually paying attention to the environment in, in each, which each of the Heartless are in. Always a good thing in any video game. Seriously, if you can get a feel for the atmosphere, um, as well as decent gameplay, then yeah, you've got a decent game. I'm sorry, I say decent so much, but there you go. And yes, the uh, Heartless will spawn throughout the area, uh, regardless of where you are. So yeah, have I covered everything? I don't know, but uh, yeah. If you want to go save, you can go back through the guillotine gate where, uh, of course, there's a save point. Indeed, uh, I will do that because, as I said before, even though I did say Jack Skeleton can jump very high, um, yeah, there, is, there won't be another save point for a while. Um, and there's a reason for that, but um, we'll get to that. So I'm going to save and on the next episode we'll find Sally. So I'll see you then. Goodbye!